something else. Oh, golden nugget candy. And the VIP has arrived. Okay. Slow down, everyone. Alright. So let's get some golden nugget candy there. There we go. It's another food product. And this one we'll put... Right there. There we go. Already made some money. Uh, let's take a look. Where is Clint Bushton? Alright, he's heading for a Trophy Mine Train. So, yeah, you just continue with that, Clint. I will continue increasing shop profits. Oh wow, apparently there was demand for more bison burgers. You know, I bet we could put in some kind of ride here at the here at the entrance of the park which could popularize popularize these shops here. So, yeah. We're gonna try it. And what do we have here? The Western Wheel. I think that's a fitting name. Two dollars to go on the Western Wheel. And we clearly need a shop right there. So... Uh, let's put in some gold nugget candy right there. There we go. Gold nugget candy. So where is Clint? Clint, Clint, Clint. You still on your way here? I know it's a bit of a long walk, but... Where are you? Oh, he's running through the queue. Ready, getting ready to get on the next coaster to leave the station. And of course, we're making lots of money. All right, Clint. Here he goes. Are you ready? Oh, he's laughing. Alright, our total monthly shop profits has gotten up to $150. So that is excellent. Clint is going down on the roller coaster. Yeah, you can see him down there in the bottom right corner. Yeah, here he comes. He's going to be coming up to the station soon. There we go. Excellent, 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 excellent. So that is of the proper excitement rating. So I'll just fast forward to him leaving the park so we can get our entrepreneur award. They all would have gotten something more thrilling. Okay. He left the park. Probably don't need triple speed anymore. We made it to entrepreneur level. Next stop, Tycoon. And we received a boost to our research. So let's take a look at the Tycoon things. Alright, at least 6.0 for excitement, and a total monthly shop profit of $200. Okay, we can do that. There, I bet that'll be something all the kids will get on. 
the roundup rod. Uh, where do I go? Get out of here, one. Alright, so I bet this shop thing won't be too difficult to get. And when does... Oh, he already arrived. We haven't planned this route at all. Quickly, plan a route. Oh, it's the same as last time. Alright. Good, good. It defaulted to the same as last time. Which, that was a perfectly good route. Oh, we've got ice cream and donuts? Man. Pretty awesome. Donuts. Everyone loves donuts. And, oh man, so many. Alright, so much things. Uh, let's just put everything back to normal. We'll put some dino burgers right here. And, you know, eventually we'll have enough money from shops. Clint will ride our 6. Uh, our 6.32 roller coaster. And he'll be happy. I mean, nothing could really go wrong. Now could it? This park has actually been pretty easy. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Ah, uh, yay, the security guard is thinking about quitting. Here. Here, you can wear new pants. And a pink shirt. And hat. Alright, here's Clint. Clint is going to get on the coaster. Man, so many shops now. You could argue it's too many shops at this point. Shops. Shops everywhere. People are actually going on this ride. Few, but there are some. Clint Bushton is making way for the trophy mine train. Four, 140. We're making some money. I'm sure if we just spam enough shops, eventually we'll have enough money from shops, and then we'll be good. We'll be a tycoon, and we can move on. Oh, we need a steakhouse. Of course we need a steakhouse. I feel like this area here is deprived of shops. And you know what? I think I want to do one last thing with this coaster here. I want to add a little something, if I can. Ah. Oh well. Oh, we can't add any cool effects. Where is Clint Bush in what right now? Roving. All right. Cool. So, he should be happy after he leaves. I just need to get my... Shop profits up. So 
so at its shop. Profit. Alright. Let's take a look at ice cream. Ice cream's making some money. You're losing money, actually. That's not good. This is making money. Yeah, so hopefully we can have shop profits soon. Let's take a look at finances. Uh huh. Wait, are these expenses? Oh, shop sales. There we go. Alright, uh. Alright, food and drink sales. We should actually be. Ah, uh, see, in September we had some over 200, but not since then. Huh. Clint Pushton is getting goosebumps. And leaving the park now. Alright. Clint Pushton has left the park. People need more toilets. Alright, we need shop income though. March is almost over, so. Yeah. Maybe we can make some sunglasses have a profit. I doubt it. But hey, it's worth a shot, right? Alright, you may be a little confused at this cut, and I don't blame you. Basically, there was like 20-ish minutes left in the last of footage for the last recording session, but it was basically all just me trying and failing to achieve the $200 in shop profits requirement. With, and it ended up with me having a very defeatist attitude, and ultimately... I just kind of rage quitted, so I'm back from that, and I've got a few ideas of how we can get everything back up, how we can hopefully get through this. Uh, so we're going to need to actually do some major renovations right now, so we may actually want to close the park for these since we'll be doing a lot of path work. So let's do that. Everyone get out. Alright, just about everyone has left now, so... We can get to doing some major renovations here. Now, these paths here are pointless and confusing, and we really want to just cut back on pointless and confusing paths, because what I think is probably ending up happening is you've got all of these people, they're just wandering around aimlessly on these paths instead of going to things that we want them to go to, like say, shops. So, yeah. We'll redo this queue a bit. So, we'll make it operate like this. Wait, no, not like this there. There we go, it'll be just your typical snaking queue. And that'll be important so we can delete more paths. 
basically we're deleting any paths over here that aren't really necessary. Like, what paths do we really need? We don't need these. Yeah, like this path thing down here is not helping anyone. And for that matter, neither are these stairs. Alright, I'll leave this area up here because we'll probably want to make shops with that. Uh, any other needless paths? Let's see, we certainly don't need this. Alright. And there we go! It's actually straightforward and stuff now. That's always a nice thing. Only paths where they're absolutely necessary. And that should hopefully help people be able to actually get to the stuff that's important and not just run around aimlessly. Now, I'm going to bring this area here back into our focus. I think it's a great area and this area isn't doing much for helping shops and stuff. I'll keep the bathrooms here but that's just about it. We're, we're just going to delete everything here. Because, I mean, all this area is doing for us is it is taking away attention from the other area. It's not actually building upon that area. It's basically replacing that area. Which is something that is not good. Because the other area was better anyways. <laughs> So we'll keep the toilets, but like I said, that's pretty much it for over here. We might install like a transport ride to go to the other area, actually. That would be pretty cool. There we go. And that's a renovation. Well, actually, actually we want to put in some shops. Some more shops here. So we've got bison burgers over there. We've got, we're going to put in some donuts here in the middle. Uh, which direction will they face? They'll face this way. Alright, we got donuts. We're going to have ourselves some drink. How about root beer? Because that's literally the only drink we can sell. There we go. Uh... More food, how about some golden nuggets, candy, eh? Eh? There we go. And some souvenirs and whatnot. And that ought to help, hopefully, get us... ...some money. Do we actually have souvenirs as a stall? No. Some suits is popular. What have I done? Sorry, technical difficulties. Uh, yeah, so we've got some shops and stuff here now. Oh, we still have this Hershey stall. We don't really need that. I mean, can it hurt? I don't think so. So now, we will open the park back up. And people will start coming. And we will be ready with a whole bunch of shops now. Maybe I'll put a shop down here in this location. Right here. And somebody's gonna go there, right? Let's actually, I'm going to fast forward this, but you, for you it'll probably just be a skip. Although, before I skip real quick, uh, part of the plan is I'm going to have ads for the park. That's part of the plan. So, 
now we'll skip until we're close to the goal probably oh, this is it <sighs> yes finally so as you can see at the top here, 10 years, 10 years, it was really quite the waiting game, it involved a lot of tweaking of like, shop prices, and I mean, you saw how we were at the beginning of this cut, I added some more rides, I added this transport system, I advertised like crazy, when you can see right here, I spent $5,000 in advertisement right before that we finally did it now this didn't really take less time than the other parts but it's less parts because the parts that took a long time were really boring and tedious but we did it so we can move on now I mean just look at this we had shops everywhere we had a massive ad campaign I put in rides in strategic locations to attract more customers. And finally, it paid off. <sighs> Anyways, guys. Yeah, let's uh, save this. Then let's take a look. So this was Checkered Flag. Finally obtained the Tycoon rank on that. That took a long time. Next up, box office. I hope you're looking forward to that next episode. I am. Anyways, guys, till next time, I've been Simicraft, and I will catch you in the next episode. <laughs>